Oh, 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 oh. come back in here, boy. <laughs> you know, fishing out here at Timbernail Island is a real kick. It's a peaceful place and a place that's just loaded with fish. A couple of ways to get out here from Grand Isle, Leeville, or maybe even further out west, but the quickest way to get out here from Lafitte is as the crow flies, or in this case, as the toe flies. Well, I know toe feel for over 20 years. Tofil Jean-Antoine Bourgeois was his name. <laughs> we did everything together. We went fishing for trout and, and, and redfish, and we went bow fishing, we went frogging, we hunted quail, we hunted ducks, uh, we chopped thistles, we collected oyster mushrooms, and then we'd come back to his lodge and cook it all. What a pleasure. Yeah, we both had a real love for the outdoors, and as soon as I met the guy and heard him talk and got to know him a little bit, I said, this is one of the guys that's really going to be good as one of my field staff. So for over 20 years now, we've been doing television and radio shows together all the time and become really good friends and our families have met and it's just a really tragic loss. Tofio started off as a butcher, believe it or not. Then he decided his love of fishing, he was going to find a way to make that work as a career. And he certainly did that. And over the years, I've watched him grow from just a little small operation with the Cajun Chalet Lodge out in the marsh to now the beautiful Cajun Vista. And then his latest dream was to take that plane and fly people out to the Chandelier Islands, one of the most unique places that Louisiana has and some of the best fishing, and do it in a short period of time and do it on a regular basis basis. Well, because the fishing there is so phenomenal. I mean, there's speckled trout in the, in the summer and in the spring. You get the redfish out there. There's always something to catch. And it's just so unique. You get to view Louisiana from a bird's eye view as you fly over. And of course, all the way out there, he's telling jokes and being the typical Tofield kind of guy. Okay. A typical Tofield trip would start out in the plane from his lodge right there at the Cajun Vista in Lafitte. 25 minute flight if conditions were right. He'd put it down at one of the islands and he knew all of those islands, Curlew, Gosha, Breton, and he'd pick the right place, set the plane down. You can actually see the fish from up above if it's redfish. And then people would jump out, wade out there in the surf, catch the fish, put them on a stringer, put them into the pontoons of the plane and then fly them back to the lodge. You know, Tofield was a great pilot. The thing about Tofield, he caught on and figured things out right away. He finished flight school in one of the quickest ever in history. I heard this from the school that he took the flight course from, and that was just the kind of guy he was. He would figure things out and make it work no matter what. And you talk about a survivor. Tofield was a survivor. How many times, I, I can't even tell you, high tides, tropical depressions, tropical storms, hurricanes, they would just ruin his place, take it down to nothing. And he'd just start picking up the pieces, pick up his bootstraps, and before you know it, he'd be back in business again. Tofield was a many faceted person. Number one, he was a great fisherman. He understood the water, he could read the water, he knew how to catch fish, uh, he knew how to hunt game, he knew it all from his Cajun heritage. But there was a real business guy underneath all that. He knew how to create a business, what people wanted, how to treat people. But most of all, Tofield was a family guy. He and I, when the fishing would get slow, we'd talk about our families. And one of my favorite trips, I'll never forget, was around Mother's Day week. And we, he said, I said, let's take our moms out fishing. So he brought his mother, Helen. I brought my mother, Jenny. Took them out. They caught a bunch of redfish, and he had a little surprise. He had wine and cheese he had brought along. We pulled up on the side of the bank and had a little wine and cheese party. And it was the greatest trips and Mother's Day both of our mothers had ever experienced. He operated two planes. Uh, the first plane came back when the weather started getting bad, and they were in radio communication. They were lost communication. The last they heard from him was, uh, how you doing, Tofield? He said, it's pretty rough, but I'm, I'm going to make it. I'll be OK. They lost communication. That's when they notified the Coast Guard. The helicopters went out. From what I understand, I think they refueled the plane and went out and looked themselves. There were boats out there. And unfortunately, they did rescue the other two passengers, but not Tofield. And I got to tell you that the whole story is not out yet, but I would not be a bit surprised if he didn't do something to save those two passengers at the cost of his own life.